Welcome everyone out here because it was a great top of the tail clash between Wandin and Linda Fernie Creek and Linda Fernie Creek uh, remains on top of the ladder with a huge win <laughs> over Wandin by 17 goals today, 78 to 61. And of course we've got two very, very special guests here from the Linda Fernie Creek to tell us a bit about it. Thanks both of you for joining us. No worries. Well, I'll get both of you to introduce yourselves and obviously what position you both play here at the Linda Fernie Creek. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Jane and I play goal attack. And I'm Gary and I'm goal shooter. Going to this game, uh, how important was to get the win here at home? Uh, yeah, we definitely always talk a bit more when we're coming up against Wanding because they're obviously such a great team and it's always good the battles against them. Um, had a couple of good, really strong training sessions, I guess, building up to it, but we've had a really solid start the whole season, so we knew if we just kept playing and playing, it's going to work. Um, you got behind early in the first quarter. Uh, I think you scored by at least five goals, um, but you managed to work your way back. Did, you, did both of you thought that was the turning point in that game? Because uh, I think from there you really didn't never look headed to losing that game. Yeah, we, we had a few changes um, with our starting lineup this week, so I think it just took us a few minutes to get settled. And but um, once we kind of got our natural rhythm back and started to run our structures, it really really worked for us. Yep, great, great. Uh, now obviously both of you. Uh, worked perfectly today uh, in the goals, uh, which I thought proved to be the difference between the two teams. Um, what did both of you try to do to, I guess, uh, to really worry the Wandon defenders? We played all together all last season, so this is the first time kind of playing together in a few weeks now. So I think it was just getting back to our old rhythm, I suppose. Yeah. We just, it's hard to know that we, how we play, because we just know each other, I think. It's just yeah. knowing each other really well, knowing that Beatty's going to do really strong drives every time, and always mm. trust that she's going to be there, I guess. Yeah, and always knowing that Pez is such a force under the ring and, and I know that if I cut front we can draw a defender off, it'll leave her wide open. So we know that we've kind of got a couple of options there each time and making sure that we're just like, backing each other up the whole way. <laughs> now I thought your defenders did it amazingly well uh, today. Um, it was a tough match, uh, especially in especially early on, and I thought they really held held their own yeah. uh, in that uh, goal yeah. circle for Wandon. Uh, was that how both of you saw that from the other end? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. They're just relentless, and I think it's a fitness thing as well. They're so fit, those girls, and they just keep going and keep going. Mm. You know, as a defender, it's a tough job. They because you don't get the ball every time and they just never give up. It's very impressive. Yeah, they're they awesome. absolutely just keep going and, yeah. and they're backing each other up um, the whole time. They're yeah. always talking and, and there's just a bit of trust going on. You know, they, they've got to trust that if one of the girls says pull back or come forward or left, they, they do it and, and it works for them really, really well. Yeah. Really good. Now two final ones before I let both of you go. Uh, undefeated at the moment, obviously you still don't look too far ahead. But uh, I guess the first half of the season, um, how do both of you assess the team's season so far? There's been so much mumble jumble this season, to be honest. So it's we've had Tess is injured and people who are out, and there's people playing footy now and this and that. So it's hard to I think it's really hard to look too far ahead because it could change in a second, really. Absolutely, but I think despite all the rotations through our teams, it just shows that the squad's got a lot of depth. So yeah. it's yeah. it's really good that we know that we can bring up girls from B grade and, and everyone's going to step up and play yeah. their role. So it's really good. we're lucky to play this club. Yeah. We'll finish off with two part question. Firstly, how special is to play here at Alinda Fernie Creek? And secondly, uh, tell us about your amazing supporter base out here. Oh. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, we honestly love, love, love the support that we get. It's yeah. incredible. Um, we know that every time, even if we're playing away, um, at, you know, the furthest grounds, we know that we're going to have people watching every game. We love yeah. that the footy boys come over and support us and likewise we do the same for them. And, and we just love knowing that we've got the biggest supporter base for everyone. Yeah. The girls from Big Grade stayed all day. It's, you know, eight grades come early. It's, it's really good. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Well, both of you, thank you so much for joining us. Every time I come up to Linda, you always seem to win, so I don't know if I'm your lucky charm or not. But uh, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck for the rest of the year, and I can't wait to see how this team goes throughout the year. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks.